and everybody. Welcome back to another fabulous episode of Let's Play Uranium Simulator. No, we're playing Tropical 5. Sorry. And uh, we're producing uranium in our beautiful nuclear power plant. Look at that, baby. Is that a red button? Press the red button. All right. So we are trying to make um, money from our ore exports, and we're going to be getting that very soon. So uh, this mission should definitely be over probably in the next, like, five minutes or so. Right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. And does that mean the next mission, like, I start with that much money? Like, I better. Like, I, I better, like, keep that money. That'd be really cool. Oh, let's, uh, put the game speed back up. That would help. I think we have two construction offices, but they're, like, MIA. Uh, as far as, like, working on stuff. We got one builder, we got two builders over there. Some Colombian barons have larger armies than ours, sir. This is unacceptable. Alrighty. Well, that's all you had to say, chief. Let's just get more uh, people out there. And we'll quick build that to not put the strain on the builders. Spiced rum? Comrade, I have a secret task for you. It is a matter of international urgency. The party has personally authorized me to make a formal request. We need spiced rum for a secret project that will be our ultimate weapon against capitalism. You're gonna throw vodka at them. I already know your plan. You can't fool me. What do you think? Nah. It's pointless to accept missions at this point because we know that we're gonna be completing the mission soon. Our economy, Mr. Minister, Mr. Mr. Minister. Is he a mister? Just passed away. Hepatitis was his death. So, it's because we don't have a clinic. We're working on it. I'm sorry. Um. Yeah. And it's fireworks season again in beautiful Tropico. Garage is overloaded. I thought I already relieved the pressure off of you. There we go. We're waiting on you, Chief. We got a lot of exports. I don't know how many of them are ore, though. All right, we're getting so close. You're so close. All right. Presidente, I just got the call from a Oh, I'll do the mansion one. That's actually really good. Issue silence the rebels. Sir, I, the military committee of Tropico, feel that certain steps must be taken to preserve peace on our island. The boys and I have to... Sounds like a boy band. The boys and I have decided that now is the best time to start the Silence the Rebels plan. I thought we'll shut up the lib... What? I feel like I've read this before. <laughs> okay. That, that's horrible. Um, issue Silence the Rebels. Okay. Never fear. Is here. Back to work again. Wait, so I could send you to the palace? What are you doing at the palace? Whoa! Can you give a speech? Oh my gosh, look at all the people gather! Oh, it's so cool. That means they're not working, though. Whoa! That's so cool! Make it so. Give another speech. Let's get a really big crowd over here. Oh no. Oh no. That's right next to the nuclear power plant, too. Presidente, one of my tankers, New Titanic, has hit an unexpected iceberg Gosh. in the tropical seas. <laughs> it appears that 
floating behind ice-carrying ships to save on fuel is not a good idea. As a result, I am losing money and all the delicious tropic and fish are going to have a dreadful taste. Several of my friends have offered their help in a minimal fee. You don't have choice of dropping all fishing is forbidden in the affected areas. Spare no expense. We don't want that to get to the nuclear power plant. All right, what we're giving a speech, right? Look at that crowd. Oh, they're all voting for El Presidente for sure. You know what? It's time for another speech. It's just like prevent people from working. If it's like stopping the economy, then I might not want to keep doing this. Look at all the people. All right, you're hungry. You're sick. Wow, there's a lot of sick people. Why don't we have any people working at the clinic yet? What's going on? What? Where'd they all go? Oh, they all probably went there. Presidente, our Minister of Defense went too far in his artistic endeavors. During his singing practice, the minister managed to break the windows of all nearby buildings and send people running with terror to the streets. Some of the affected citizens have decided to take to the woods and become rebels in an attempt to save Tropical from musical menace. Oh my gosh. The less fortunate ones had to be removed into a mental institution for proper treatment. Fire him. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ah, they're a ball, abysmal. Alright. You're like the best option, I guess, out of all of them. This should be the last ship that will complete this objective. Come on, Chief! It's all right, you know, you! Sorry to interrupt, dear Sonny, but we have urgent news. Bob Sliving will be added as a new event for the next Pan Caribbean game. A freighter was not serviced by a dock worker? What? Oh my gosh, because I was giving them all speeches and I probably distracted them. We have no more time. Oh my gosh, that's, yeah, that's exactly where they all were. Ah! Idiot. Alright, maybe this will be the one, because, you know, the dock worker is actually here. At last, the there mines we go. on Isla de Hierro are working steadily and bringing in a good profit. I must confess that there were several shaky moments when I did not believe this project would succeed. Now the time has come to move on. The money from the mines should be enough to fund the next steps of my plan. My master plan. Alrighty, cool. Win. The difference between democracy and a dictatorship. Oh, okay. Again and again, we must rise in the majestic heights of meeting physical force with soul force. Oh, I love Martin Luther King. It was Martin Luther King Day not too long ago. I enjoy being in the limelight. Fame brings opportunity and prosperity to achieve my plans for Tropico. I need the world's eye focus on me. I've decided that tourism is the logical starting point for my pursuit of recognition. The small island of Caralibro just gained its independence at a very high cost. The British collect 20% of all export profits from the island. Tourism, however, is exempt from any such taxes. Foreigners will flock to the beaches for a bit of fun in the sun and then spread the word about El Prez around the globe. Cool. Alrighty. Wow, 20%, that's a lot. And that's gonna suck because that's what I base my economies off of. So, um, this mission might be a little hard. Let's do it! Come to the conclusion that politics is too serious a matter to be kept with the politicians. Presidente, this place is much prettier than the last two islands we were on. It's perfect for a tourist trap. I mean resort. Yes. Keep in mind that there are a few natural resources we can exploit here and the commodity prices are low. Tourism is our only sound choice. I suggest we start by building accommodations to lure some tourists to Caralibro. Build five bungalows. You'll need a little tourist stock for building any accommodations. All commodity prices decreased by 20%. And there's a gigantic curve in my city. Who put that there? Oh, that makes me frustrated. Okay. 
So, um, let's get some stuff built. Oh, wait, though. We have such good farmland, though, right there. Oh, my gosh. Look at all this green, and we can't use it. Oh, my gosh. This stinks. What's the beauty overlay? Uh, okay. Yeah, so the beauty overlay is, like, really, really good. All right. So, we'll focus on that right away, then. So, a tourist stock. Would that be in tourism? Yes, it would. Don't know why I think it wouldn't, but... And then, um... We got to get a hotel down, or something. You'll need blueprints to consider. Yep, let's do it. There, and we'll put like two more down. Oh, wait, we need bungalows, don't we? That's what we were supposed to be building. <laughs> Alrighty, um, so first thing we gotta do is we gotta expand the road over here. that come down there like that and we'll build bungalows over here bungalow what is it's a, that's a fun word <laughs> bungalow one two three four and five that's how you count to five in case you were wondering Um, so this is, like, the most important part. And we haven't taken care of our citizens at all. We just spent all the money in the treasury. So I hope that this actually works out, because if not, we're, like, basically screwed for the rest of this game. So. Thanks to your success on Isla de Haro, Presidente, the mines there are operating at peak production. We will receive additional funds from Isles de Haro. If my estimates are correct, we'll gain about $2,000 every six months. We should invest in more hotels and attractions. Oh, so I, it does technically uh, give us money. That's awesome. Okay. That's just great. We'll build some houses. Tourist stock is operational. Foreign relations are deteriorated because of our national debt. Our two hotels are finished. What else can we build as far as tourism goes? I guess nothing yet. Let's go. Let's let's give it a little bit of time. Tropical short on cash. Your opinion, Penultimo? I blame the global economic crisis. What are we expected to do in such harsh conditions? Harsh conditions? What harsh conditions? El Presidente solves all conditions. Whether harsh or not. Where where am I going? I don't remember. <laughs> all right. Um. So we need uh tourists. Any tourist boats want to you know? Come over yonder. Look out into the sea for our all y'all. No? Not yet? Alright. Well, attention to all the tourists out there. Our economy is basically screwed until you come here. So, come over to this island, please. And can we, like, waft the tourists over here? Because, uh, we need you. Pretty please. Thank you. I mean, yeah, they can't pay rent because there's no jobs, because there's no tourists. Come on. We need tourists. Come on. Tourists, where are you? We're searching for the tourists. Normally they're not hard to find, but for now, they're really hard to find. <laughs> All right, let's focus on all the stuff while we are waiting for them. So, if we're going to keep the tourist section, like, down at the beach over there, 
I don't see an issue with like doing one of these and kind of at least starting some farming. I know the commodity price is really low, but that doesn't mean we can't at least try. So, because it's like really good, so can't resist. And people need jobs, so solves two birds at one stone, in a way. Fourteen tourists have arrived on the island. Sweet. Oh, that's what those boats look, boats look like. <laughs> it's a little tugboat. Look at that. Oh, that's so cute. All right, we got Taurus now, which means we are earning the sweet moolah. I don't have any tourists in this hotel, though. Why don't they like the hotel? It is a very pretty island. <laughs> a bored tourist injured himself making funny faces in front of the palace guard, sir. <laughs> Don't worry, sir. He has amnesia and doesn't know what hit him. Oh my gosh. Construction attractions for the stupid foreigners. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, we should have did that in the first place. So this is where we'll keep, like the farming side and we'll just we'll uh, have the tourism stuff outstretched to this side of the island the dominant side of the island that people will see all right um so one more bungalow to be built no builders are on it so far but we need attraction but first we need money it's really stupid to spend money on those hotels i don't know why i did that i'm like really regretting it all right um we need something. Uh, let's get a pool. They will come to Tropico for our beautiful pool. We have the pool. We have the best pool. We have the biggest pool. And that's why they're all coming to Tropico for our pool. They're pretty full. Is a builder, like, working on this at all? Build it. Pretty please. Commodity prices stink, so these can kind of wait. We need proper healthcare facilities on our island, Comrade Presidente. Most of the population has to rely on traditional medicine and worse. Yeah, we need we need a hospital or a clinic. I know. Yay! You sir are a hero. Look at you, hard at work. Ooh, I could hear that hammer. Good job. You built that real quick. Presidente, they tell me that there are different kinds of tourists. To me, they all look the same, but I'm not the one to judge. There are four tourist classes, slobs, eco, spring break, and wealthy tourists. Each class prefers to visit different attractions. Speaking of attractions, we should build some so that the tourists can spend their money there. So let's attract this spring break tourists. Spring break tourists have one thing on their mind. No, not that. Oh, you dirty dog. The thing is drinking and partying. Two things, drinking and partying, having a good time. Among the things they like are drinking, part, partying while having a good time and being a general nuisance, and nice red uniforms. Huh? Anyway, as a right wise man once said, if you go to cocktail bar, the spring tourists will come. Uh, where is the cocktail bar? Where is it? Oh, there's a whole different section over here. Jeez. We'll put it like behind the bungalows. Have a nice cocktail bar in the middle of all their housing. And let's put that on top priority. I'm sorry, our national debt's like killing our foreign relations. What are they at? No. Nope. I'm gonna... President's attention. The economy, bruh. Um, foreign. U.S. Oriented towards communism and in debt. Alright, so the U.S. don't like us. Let's 
just, let's do it. Excellent work, Presidente. Now the tourists have attractions to keep them entertained and happy. This will reflect positively on the tourism raising of our island. We need to build more attractions to maximize our profits. In addition, more accommodations will bring tourists on our island. Remember that commodity prices are extremely low in care, and we need to invest in tourism to make money. In unrelated news, Penultimo is suffering from a moderate concussion caused by blinking too loud near me. What? Okay. Presidente. Oh my, hello. Your venture into the tourism industry is commendable. But still too small. You need to build more accommodations and attractions. It's the only way to make the tourism industry profitable enough to sustain your island. I've drafted a UN grant for the development of tourism on Cairo Libro. We'll pay for your next hotel. Build a new hotel. Wow, I could have actually had them pay for one of those. But now we'll have three. Thank you, Bredel Von Hoof. I appreciate it. So let's go to tourism and hotel. Right there. Yeah, look at all those people at the cocktail bar. Oh, okay, you can kind of choose what the service, what the service is. That's cool. So while this hotel is being built, yeah, look at you. Oh, he's sick. He's sick and still on the job. Look at this champ right here. Yeah, he's crossing his arms, be like, people build me that hotel. I'm so proud of you. Where are you gone? Buenos dias. Bro. Bro, come back. Where are you gone? Okay. Peace out, bro. Just left the job. Didn't finish his job. This guy's going to finish it for him. Good job, man. I'm proud of you. Alrighty, so let's just tell us being built on that happy note. We are out of time for today. So, on the happy note, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, be sure to check back for more videos where we have a way better than 39% proof of rating. My gosh, yeah, I need, to I need to focus a bit on the town a little more than um, this tourism stuff down here. It's just the fact that we, like, spent so much on our economy is really draining it. But uh, we'll be working on that in the next episode. So, thank you for watching. If you are watching, we love you. We, uh, our love, we love you. And uh, we will see you next time on Tropical 4 Let's Play. And um, as this person says... Couldn't have said it better myself.